The Coral Triangle is one of the most biodiverse places on the planet. More life is found in these waters than anywhere else in the world. But here in Indonesia, destructive fishing practices and illegal poaching have been threatening entire species. Masyarakat yang ada di kampung kami tidak menjaga laut kami dengan baik. Terus banyak nelayan yang menangkap ikan dengan cara sembarangan. Ada yang menggunakan bom, potas, bius, sehingga karang yang ada di laut kami sebagian besar telah rusak. A pioneering business model devised by this couple has not only revitalized the local economy, but is having an astonishing impact on marine life. Can you imagine how different the world could look if every private enterprise, if every tourism operation protected some small area of their backyard? Ahmad and his team of ocean rangers have received reports of turtle poaching on a nearby island. They're in the middle of Mizzle Marine Protected Area, located in eastern Indonesia. It's a 465 square mile reserve where all fishing is banned. The success of the marine protected area depends on the rangers stopping illegal fishermen in their tracks. They work alongside the military police, who have the power to make arrests and seize vessels. The fate of any poachers they intercept will rest in the community's hands. Kami bawa ke kampung biar dapat diselesaikan sama pemerintah kampung atau diberikan sanksi. The rangers are really the unsung heroes of this marine protected area. They're out there day and night, rain or shine, doing interceptions with illegal fishermen, getting themselves into pretty dangerous situations in order to ensure that this area is protected and all this can continue. Andrew and Marit Miners first came here in 2005 on a diving trip. They were shocked by what they found. When we arrived on Babitim Island in Missile Rajempat, it's hard to describe the scene of carnage that we met. There was a remnants of a shark finning camp. There were baby black tip reef sharks finned, floating around dead in the water. It's really a scene of destruction and devastation. From that moment, we decided we really had to make a stand and protect this area and stop those sharks getting slaughtered. They petitioned the local village leaders to lease them the land and surrounding waters, and in a bold plan to save this ecosystem, created a marine protected area that would be sustainably funded by a luxury eco resort. When we first started building on the island, every night when we looked out onto the horizon, it was full of lights from fishing boats. These people were illegally decimating the reefs and the fishing stocks of the local community. Andrew and Marit's challenge was to provide an economic alternative for the hundreds of villagers who rely entirely on the ocean. What we did was create a whole new set of economic opportunities for the local people. We employ over 200 people and all those people are getting their income from non-extractive work. Ahmad has been working as a ranger for two years, patrolling the reef and carrying out anti-poaching missions like this. But like many people in this area, he hasn't always been a conservationist. He's gone from catching fish to catching fishermen. Dan sebelum saya bekerja di yayasan Misolba Seftin, saya pernah menjadi salah satu nelayan pemburu ikan hiu dan teteruga. Dalam sehari, bisa mencapai sembilan ekor hiu. This area is one of the most commonly targeted by turtle poachers. Ahmad thinks he spotted something. This beach is a popular nesting site for green and hawksbill turtles, both of which are endangered. The turtles are at their most vulnerable when nesting on the beach. Ya, ini ada satu salah satu jejak penyu yang baru bertelur semalam. Jejak kakinya. Jadi di pulau ini banyak terdapat sarang penyu. Nah ini ada satu, dua, tiga, empat, 
lima, enam, tujuh, delapan. Nah, dan di sini eh, tempat yang perlu kita jaga biar jangan sarang-sarang penyu ini dimusnahkan sama masyarakat atau hewan-hewan lain. Only one in 1,000 sea turtle hatchlings will survive to adulthood, so it's vital that every single egg is protected. It's not long until Ahmad spots some telltale signs of poaching. Ini adalah uh, kulit teteruga. Sepertinya ada nelayan yang datang ke sini uh, se uh, sebelum kami dan mereka akhirnya uh, membunuh teteruga ini. Scenes like this are all too common. As animal populations inside the protected area continue to grow, so does the threat from poaching. Dan saya juga sangat sedih melihat penyu yang dibunuh terus dibiarkan di atas pantai hingga. While the threat from illegal fishermen is always present, over the last 12 years the area has seen an extraordinary transformation. The fish biomass has increased in some areas by 600%, and there are now 25 times more sharks inside the reserve than just outside. Bearing in mind the incredible explosion of fish biomass, this place has become more and more attractive for those high-end tourists to visit. It's not only been incredibly profitable for the marine environment, the protection we're doing, it's become incredibly profitable for the business. I guess some actively choosing businesses that are supporting conservation and social programs. Globally, coral reef dive tourism is valued at $36 billion annually. If Andrew and Marit's business model can be replicated, it could provide hope for huge areas of our ocean. If you look at the economics of conservation versus extraction, it's very clear that there are incredible benefits to be reaped from protecting natural resources. Sharks and mantas are worth so much more alive than they are dead. The business is only possible because of buy-in from the local communities and government. At 465 square miles, Mizil Marine Protected Area protects only a fraction of Indonesia's waters. But Andrew and Marit hope that the story of their success may encourage others. As they fine-tune their business model over the next few years, they want to pitch to hotel chains and tourism operators to start similar ventures. Our dream scenario is that MISL becomes the gold standard for private enterprise doing conservation. This is what we need in the future. We need private entrepreneurs doing conservation work and protecting natural resources as the central asset of their business. Ahmad's community has been fishing these waters for centuries. Thanks to the marine protected area, they're now making more money than they ever did as fishermen, and their way of life has been safeguarded for generations to come. Mewakili masyarakat yang ada di sini bangga karena teman-teman The Ranger atau program kami tentang zona tabungan ikan melindungi ikan yang berada di wilayah kami. Dan saya berharap semoga program ini dapat berjalan dengan lancar dan bisa juga dinikmati sama masyarakat yang selanjutnya.